Hello, good viewers, and welcome back to Subnautica. Actually, this is a redo video. I was going to hopefully have one up today. Well, early today. And saw there were some corrections done in the back end, so I said, yeah, I better redo my video. Only to find out that those corrections weren't fixed. <laughs> like, for instance, see down there the temperature bar? That was how it's going up instead of from left to right and right to left. It's, that was supposed to have been fixed. It even says in the check-in, that was fixed, but it's not. And I've completely updated my game. So, that, I mean, this is not new base or anything, but you know, I've made it so everything's functioning properly. And it's not doing that. What in the heck was that? Why did I have a lag right there? That was strange. Uh, but, the heck with that. Let's get to the update. Uh, things they've added in. For instance, all the natural selection models that were put into the game, take for instance this trash can, have been updated graphically. They look really good, except for this trash is in it. I think this should be empty. Completely empty, because your character's not throwing this stuff in there. So why is it still clogged up with crap? <laughs> it should be a clean trash can, unless you put something in it. But even then, it recycles it so fast, it should just disappear. Uh, well, the coffee maker is still not functioning f properly yet. P this will probably be like a after a 1.0 thing. Uh, it, it will, you know, spit you out a cup of coffee, but it doesn't show the mug actually forming like in a uh, Star Trek type of way, and then the coffee is pouring into it. So that's not functioning right they've updated this chest here it looks really good uh hold on a second oh well i'll get to that in a minute i don't want to show it to you just yet i was going to get rid of my beacon down there <laughs> it's actually that is situated <laughs> for something soon it's down in the lava zone <laughs> they've uh updated the table here uh, still haven't fixed the septic eyes glass here it's missing and there was a back end report today that says lab equipment glass was fixed no it's not <laughs> still no glass right here and the base on this one is missing both the a and analyzer on that one and that one needs to be capitalized this should be a capital m in microscope and let's see what else we got here they did something with the tanks. I forget exactly what it was. There was mentioning of sick fish in your tank. Like maybe you can put them in here or... I don't know. But whatever they did, they it caused my plants to disappear. Yeah, so I'm going to have to put them back in. But it did stop my reef pack from grounding himself into the floor. Makes me wonder if it was the plants that were doing it now. I found a solution to a bug the other night when it's been plaguing the NPRs for <laughs> months now, maybe even years, ever since they've been put in the game. Look at that crazy fish. <laughs> uh, concerning how fish get into your NPR room, multi-purpose room. Right here, this black curved bottom on each side of the stairs. Uh, I, f I can actually watch a Reginald in this environment. He'll go swimming right through there and in here, swim around, then he'll go right back out. <laughs> they also get in right here on the seal. Can, with It's just this seal right here where the NPR creates this little tunnel corridor attachment to a module. So it's strange. It's only that spot. They don't get in all the time right here. <clears throat> it's either the flooring there or... I wish that was fixed. This silver band right here. They they actually can clip through that that band and go into your base. We've had a long-standing bug where the mul stacked multi-purpose rooms do not connect fully. So you have this space there. It's not... A, it's not unattractive but it welcome aboard captain doesn't look good there's a fish trying to clip through my base right there look at that peeper 
Um, oh, they fixed the lighting on the car. I think it still should be a little smaller, though. It's too big, in my opinion. Now, out in the world, at the precursor bases, if you find the keys, like the purple key, the orange key, uh, the blue key, which is in the thermal plant, if you scan them, you'll get blueprints that you can come over here to your personal settings and your fabricator, to your equipment, and there they are. I don't have the orange key because I haven't scanned it yet, but it's supposed to be in there. What is that? Oh, fins. Done a lot of changing on the icons. They even did the rebreather, made it look a little different in there. Uh, let's see the tools. And yeah, transfuser's not working. Did it unlock all, that's why it's showing there. And a lot of changes here in the icons. There's your hatching enzymes. When you get the hat the enzyme from the Sea Emperor down in the the primary containment facility when you come back to your fabricator to create it you'll need to get that right there gates feather seed seed crown seed membrane seed and a rough cradle seed and that will give you the hatching enzyme yeah, luckily I have them all outside but you can also make them with the console if you need to uh, let's see what else we got everything else is normal and that's basically it in here, I think. Let's go back to day here. Oh, there's, <clears throat> excuse me. I hope in the future that we'll have the option of being able to use this cabinet, uh, the drawers in it as storage. It'd be really nice. You know, be able to maybe even visually open them up, put something in them, or just leave it like that and click on them like you do with your... Uh, carry all here your luggage so there's some slight changes with the cyclops up oh, still doing it shouldn't do that when I jump in the water now hold on a second I have to I wonder if I can get let me see I stunned him really I didn't know that would stun him Go on. Go away! <laughs> but that's not exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to put on this and make him leave my zone. Come here, you. Come here. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I know why. I had that on. Now, get out of my zone. If I don't do that, he'll attack my Cyclops for some reason. I think the bug of the high aggression levels with the Bone Sharks has returned. As you can see, my Cyclops is here, and he was down there. And as soon as I get inside and, and turn on the engine, they, they attack my sub. They shouldn't do that. You are the best captain on the planet. I'm not even squidding. <laughs> oh, I finally heard it. Somebody was telling me about that. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know how many times you have to enter this, it, go in and out of your Cyclops before you get that message. That was cool. That was cool, and I got it on record, too. <laughs> anyway, you, um, and there's actually one over in the canon with the, data con the second data console. It might even be the first one, but... Uh, again, I don't know how many times, but I remember it, would, it did a Borg message with me at one time. It's like, resistance is futile or something like that. And it played like this jazz saxophone music in the background. It's pretty cool. But it, take pilot of your sub, and you got to turn on the engine now. Engine powering up. And now you have your options to... Move around. You know. Ahead slow. Ahead standard. Ahead flank. Emergency speed. And so they moved the silent running over here, and it's on a timed sequence. So if I click Ready it, for silent running. and now you, you can see the sliver slowly moving around. The only thing I don't like about this is that it goes around, it turns off, and then you have a cooling period of it going all the way around again, and then you can turn it back on. It's, why? 
you should be able to turn it on and off as much as you want. You could leave it on if you want. There should be a cool down. It's just lights. <laughs> but one thing that I do not like about the flank speed is how fast your engine overheats. 13 seconds is when I actually timed it on my stopwatch. 13 seconds is when you get the warning. These engine overheating. 14 and a half, 15 seconds. And then the the engine literally catches fire into a blaze of glory. I mean, it is it just becomes this inferno back here. What the heck? Uh, and it's hard to put out. It doesn't. There's no reason for this engine to catch fire. If it overheats, it it's, it should have a fail safe system where it just shuts off and cools down. There's no turning into a blazing inferno. That's un unrealistic. Now, I, um, I really hope that they add in the flooding aspect again. I could have sworn I read something in the back end about that. Because that's what we need. No fires. Uh, that's the last thing that would happen uh, in here. You, if you have hole breaches, you can have water pouring in. So, let's head out. Okay. I'm going to jump down to the prison's entrance and we'll start from there and see all the new changes. See you shortly. Welcome back to the prison. I hate these guys. Darn lava lizards are always shooting those things near me. And there's my exosuit. I made one specifically to come down here and show you some of the things. Uh, normally, in the past, you'd use unlocked door, but now we have the key insertion blue artifact key you'll find over in the thermal plant within the black castle, the lava black castle above this area. Aha! The door is working now. The sound effect. At least that was something I read. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's see if the lights turn on. There was a bug where the these were not coming on. Yeah, it's still happening. If I walk up this ramp, all the lights come on. Come in with an exosuit, they do not turn on. Well, yeah, those turn on. That's cool. Okay. Now, there's one thing I wanted to show you last time. Yeah, I think I did mention it. Where, if you want to see the beam of light come down, you got to drill this thing out. I think I know why that's happening. Oh, it did break. Let me just turn off that. Come on. Break it. There we go. It's taking a long time to break that one. There it goes. Oh, cool. I got sound effects now. Nice. That's even better. I like that. Cool. Yeah, I'll leave my... And it's what it's doing is it's remaking that crystal on top. Ooh. This is new music. Ah. Ooh. I have to come back down here and make a recording of this. <laughs> Each of the little displays here have sounds now, like this one. And this guy. But mostly they hum like this. <laughs> Is it still rebuilding? But the newest location is the egg hatchery over here, which was completely unfinished last time I showed you. We're rushing to get this done. Looks excellent in here now. We've got models of all the eggs in the game. Although there's a lot of redundancy because there's only so many eggs. And in case you didn't see this before, there's your information. Oh, I do need to show you that too.
and I'll start here. <laughs> this is the new inventory, as you can see. It's light blue and all. We've got updated icons for everything. The blueprints have been categorized, although they still need work, in my opinion. Uh, we've got base pieces. Okay, this is fine, although I should say base modules. you got base rooms that you can add on. Uh, base wall accessories. Exterior modules. These aren't modules. These are more power supplies. Although one is missing here. Where is it? Yeah, see. This says interior room. Although it's, it, I think there should be just a category for power like it was before. Because that's what all these are. And you got the lights. Exterior. Other. Interior pieces. Inter more. These are not modules. Interior additions, I would say. Additionals. Miscellaneous. And hull plates, if you have them. And accessories from YouTubers. Like Jack and Markiplier doll. And you got your Cyclops parts. The only thing missing in here, and, I, and they should technically be... Uh, part of the miscellaneous are the precursor keys. The blueprints are missing here. Then you got your ping manager, photo gallery, your voices, uh, voice log. It's not entirely a voice log because it's also text as well. Ooh, I like this new music. Good going, Simon. And if you haven't heard them, I got this voice the other day when I was getting the blue key from the thermal plant. It's from the Sea Empress. We'll show the way. Not sure why she says, we'll show go away, when it should be here to me. And this one I actually got in my base over by the mountain island a little while ago. care of those that's a pretty nice room all the different eggs yeah. jelly ray egg about to drop down in and let's head up to the laboratory I'm gonna turn the music down just a bit here too high. I had it on 100, so let's drop it down to 60. Yeah, that's better. Let's see if I get some lag. I always get a little bit of lag when I'm coming into this room for some reason. This wasn't as bad as the other night when they were working on the egg hatchery. Oh boy, it was pretty rough. But now we have the carcass. A dead baby. And we have information we can get from it. There we go. There's your dissected Leviathan fetus. Although it's not a fetus. That's very much a juvenile. Way more than a fetus. <laughs> this room still feels unfinished to me because we got empty display cases and what is that? Oh! It's the inside. They're using a the skybox of the antechamber. The antechamber. I keep saying anti. And lastly, we have the pipe works room. Which they've done a lot of work on. Oh, I forgot. You remember, there was an empty display case right here. They've added this crystal. It's a very cool looking crystal in here. Kind of reminds me of the Dark Crystal. If it just had a little bit of mm, magenta, I guess, hue to it. Purplish indigo. That'd be uh, pretty close to it. And here is the pipe, pipe Works room. 
looks 100% better than it did last time I showed it to you. We have aquariums now, which I assume will have some fish in it eventually. Oh, we, they did add some sound effects. Pump, the pump sounds. We got peepers going in and out, although they're still clipping through a, a flat background. Let's see if you watch here, you can see they. He just goes through the, the texture in the background there. These are all cool. My favorite, though, is this one over here. Actually made into a wallpaper. That one's just cool. I mean, from right here. But, I was thinking about this before I started doing a video. And I think all the aquariums in here... Let's get rid of that. So getting in my way. Come on, turn off. Um, all the aquariums in here should have. They should represent the different biomes in the game. So that would be really nice to see. Just little samples of biomes that they were sampling with. So like this one's pretty cool, and they even added in the the eye coral which is not prevailing in the game you don't really see I think there's some on the back there's there are some on the back of the reef backs but I, they're not out in the environment now, I could not figure out what this skybox was the other night I was looking at this thing and turn it kind of reminds me of the room uh, the cannons power source room but there's no stairway going up to that glowing center. Huh. wonder if this has a hitbox yet. Let's see. Nope! I can still walk through it. <laughs> and the only way to get back out is to go the same way you came in. Otherwise you'll get stuck. But that's all they've done in here. Which is a lot. It looks really good. Love the the lighting and the textures, everything about it. This still needs something in it. Hopefully another aquarium addition in the near future. I wonder if any peepers go through that pipe right there. Don't see any yet. Should be pipe peepers pipers? Peepers going through every pipe. Peepers through every pipe. <laughs> now if you remember, the last time I was in here, see that data console up there glowing? It used to be down here, and they, that they moved it up there so they could put the key here. So you need two blue, and the only way you can get a second blue is to make it in your fabricator. Now, let me grab my exosuit. Well, do I really need it? Nah. Get it. It was mainly a drill. There's a gradual, a dramatic, I would say gradual, texture change here. I'm not sure. I don't. Hmm. The whole place really should look like this, but uh, let's see if they fix this glitter problem. No, we still have the serious glitter issue here. Look, look at all the sparkling. Doesn't look good at all. If you look at it sideways, it's fine. That's the way it should be. Nice and stable. But if you go back and forth, <laughs> it's just sparkle haven. So shiny, though. Look at that. <laughs> it's like it's got some oil or grease on it. Now, that teleporter in the back that you see is for your exosuit. If you want to come back up here after dropping down into the tank and going through the whole sequence, of which I'm going to show you, because it's very updated, you have to use the exosuit. Or you can actually swim through it, but you'll get hurt. Uh, to you, there's an, another teleporter down in the aquarium in the back. It'll take you up there, and then you can drop down and go back up with your exosuit. So let's head in for the whole sequence, which is so much better. Are you here to play? 
The others came but played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone, and instead, I have you. I'm not sure why she stays there so long. Before she, after she said that, she'd start swimming away and click. There it goes. Might be a little bit of hiccup there, but this whole sequence of her coming up and smashing on this and moving the whole thing, I love that. It's awesome. We have, let's see, where are they at? Uh, teleporters back there. Oh yeah, they're over here. There they are. We got peeper vents in the side walls here. Just like the ones out in the world. Yeah. They're flowing in. It's just like the ones out in the world. So there's no difference on that. Put that away. But I like this. Now there's sound effects to them. And. Obraxis fixed the issue with them clipping through this. I still don't think that should be there. It, it should be an energy barrier so they don't smash into it. They don't have to try to swim through it. Now, I was reading in the back end that they said there was a crystal in the aquarium cavern. The only cavern is the one down there. But I went down there, I didn't find anything, so I'm not sure what was going on there. There's a little bit of frame hitching going on in here. As you can see, they've added in some predators, the bone sharks and stalkers. They're all friendly. <laughs> but the funny thing is, if you read on the back end, it says bone sharks and reapers. I'm like, what? You're not going to have reapers in here? <laughs> but if you come over here to the iron crystal, which I need. I forgot to pick up those ones upstairs. Crystal, too. Alright, now I'm set. And there's still a hiccup when she comes in to sit down. But a nice boom upon sitting. There is a, a glitch, though. I'm hoping that will get fixed real soon before the update on the 21st, if it, everything works out. Is that once this whole sequence plays out and you've hatched the eggs and everything, and you go through the warp gate. If you come back through, she is swimming up there, goes around and sits back down and, and is in the same position. So there's a there's a problem there. Anyway. Let's put this in play. My young one to have Ooh. to play. That's new. This place. We have been here so long. The others had ways of giving passage to the outside. I asked them for this, but they could not hear. If you can hear, you can help. If you can help, I will tell what the others wanted so badly to know. As you can see, there was no... There's The audio is still missing. The audio? The audio is still missing when she moves from there to here and plunks down. Uh, but this, that sound effect here is pretty new. That was cool. And of course they've added, you know, this hologram and all. Looks great. But this is my favorite. This, this sequence right here gives me chills. I love this right here. Awesome. And she goes swimming around until you come over here to this, and she'll quickly head back over. <laughs> and again, no audio upon. Oh, what? Some little hitching there. So there should be an audio of sitting down, and also that kaboom when she plants her. I don't know what you call that. Claw. And should be another one there. So 
put this in play. You gave me what I asked for. I give you what you seek. My young cannot be forced from their shells. They must be coaxed. This is what the others could not see. I give you this secret willingly. I hope I will not be disappointed again. Nope, you won't. Now, there are some actual infected creatures in here. The other day, last night when I was working on this thing, their former video, <laughs> I actually saw one of these rabbit rays with some green spots on them. Oh, see, there's an infected stalker. But they'll actually get healed, just like you will, very shortly. There we go. They're free! Oops, no audio when she comes, but sit back down again. And they come up to, to greet her. Now one of these gets real big. There's a bug with a baby here. It suddenly gets gigantic. They all come over and nestle against her. Oh, it didn't do it this time. They stayed so they stayed normal. Maybe they fixed it. Good. My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. Perhaps next we meet. I will be an ocean current. I will carry seeds to new lands or a creature so small it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell, friend. Now she isn't she isn't dead. She's, oh. That's the breathing they were talking about. Cool. She's just very tired and worn out. <laughs> But well, they just added in that breathing, which is cool. It's a little out of sync, though. Oh! There were two breaths, and then that's it. There we go. Yeah, I don't think it's completely synced up yet. Each breath should be with connected to the nodding up and down. Sounds like a jet going over. <laughs> but the babies are actually heading for the warp gate. And here's one now. I can show you as he passes through. Got a good picture of one doing it the other night. I followed them through. They do not appear by the cannon. Uh, they're clearly heading out. They just automatically head out to their spawn zones in the world. Oh, there's another one heading out. But, as you can see, there's little enzyme balls in the world here. Come up and grab one. And it's the same thing the creatures are eating. Although, for some reason, there are, some reason that stalker is not going after them. Because that was one of the key elements. The, the infected creatures would immediately head for the enzyme balls and eat them so they'd be cured of their disease but let me check mine make sure here take my gloves off oh hey I'm not infected oh wait that ain't right something's not right there because I went down to the Lost Rivers disease research facility and got infected to make sure my hands were all you know covered in warts <laughs> the green warts and for some reason I am not diseased at the moment. I even saved my game after it. So something's weird about that. But if you eat the bait, the little enzyme... When a player eats concentrated enzymes, they're cured. Play normal cure sound in here, along with some inspirational music. 
<laughs> Inspirational music. When a player reads concentrated and hard, there's a uh, wherever you eat it. There's an audio for that. Now. I'm going to head through and then you'll see what happens. Ooh, night time. Now I head back through. Yep, see? She's swimming around for some strange reason. She's now in her animated sequence of acting like I'm down there about to put the hatching enzymes into the machine. She'll even come up, sit down, and strain forward to look at you like you're down there, but... Oh! The audio's there, at least. Well, there was audio in that first sequence. See, she's looking at me like I'm down there, but I'm not. So that's got to be worked on. Other than that, that's that's pretty cool. Everything is working out very nicely. Still some bugs in the system. Got to be fixed. But I'll leave it here with a view of the Emperor, or Empress, really. Looking at her eggs, which are already hatched. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video when we have more to show.